because I don't, I don't want to assume that I know who the students are. You know, we obviously have a university profile. I know the demographics. I know some of the information about socioeconomic status and race and, you know, and things of that nature. But what I do in most of my classes is that uh, on the second or third class, I really provide an opportunity for students to give what I think is a kind of a more robust introduction, right? I ask them to bring in texts from their own lives, right? You know, scriptures or poems or musics or bumper stickers or anything that will kind of help to introduce them to this class. What are the commitments that they hold dear? What are the concerns or the ideologies that shape them? And I try to use that as a way to then shape some of the questions or issues or the concerns that we're going to address over the course of the semester. But I'm also asking them to, to, to take a stake in the classroom, to be willing to be vulnerable, that we're going to talk about our life stories and that our life stories shape the way that we do research, shape the way that you write a paper or how you think about a thesis statement, right? And, and, and then I, I bring that in there so that I can then not assume that every class is cookie cutter, that every group of students looks exactly the same, but that I can then try to adapt to, to that student population and take what I know about the demographics of our university and then marry that with what I know about this discrete set of 20 or 30 students and, and hopefully engage them. But the philosophy there is that we all have uh, you know, a position or a stake or a claim that is informed by our subject position and we want to make it present in the classroom, we often aren't given opportunities to do that or we don't know how to do that. And so what I'm trying to do is give them an opportunity to make their subject position visible in the classroom and then to make an argument or to make a claim. And then I'm also trying to teach them how to do that if they feel anxious or they came from um, a, a, a educational experience where they didn't learn that as well as they need to. I'm saying, this is how you do it. This is how I do it. Um, so I make my position and my story and my backdrop visible and teach them how I'm doing it or model how I'm doing it. And then I, and then I ask them, Let's do the same, right? My classroom is going to come to an end. I don't have any lofty expectations that 10 or 20 years down the road, my students are saying, oh, you know, I learned, you know, A, B, or C. But I hope that they're somewhere in the back recesses of their mind, they remember the kind of the practice and the mechanisms of making an argument, of being visible, of supporting a claim, of standing up for things that they believe in, for asking questions when they're uncertain. That's the rich legacy of the classroom that I hope to to lead. You know, in the in the black or the Afro Christian tradition, it is an it is not only about raising your hand and saying something, but it's also encouraging the person that's also saying that you're witnessing that you're almost a, you're this this a midwife to the knowledge that's happening around you or to the the prophetic that's that's being organized around you. And so I want my students to say, I'm not the only midwife, or you know, as the teacher facilitator, you also are, you know, participating and witnessing and encouraging, like, help your classmate, that he's making a point, she's making a point, help her make that point, um, so that we can all understand um, what she's saying and why she's saying. We're always teaching. It is it is a a way of being in the world, right? It's a way of seeing and asking and being curious um, that I think that I've looked that I learned from my family members who were teachers that I learned from uh, you know the preachers that I was surrounded with this 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 inquisitive nature that animates everything that you want to know that you want to push that you want people to be able to engage uh, with you